Ooh. Oh yeah. Welcome to Buckeyes and Friends. Shuffle up and stay a while. <laughs> Here we go. All right, so today I'm going to try something a little different and I'm going to commentate the fantastic Patreon tournament hosted by the Bill Phase and it's only for their patrons. So you have Earl on Silver Surfer who will be going first and the re and rolling on the regular human tours. Uh these are fellow team Buckeye that why I feel comfortable commentating this game and if I mess it up they're not going to hold nothing against me. Um, so look like they first, they both were taking their mug and they open their hand. So, um, but, uh, so, sound like Earl got who will. I don't know how this is going to come. I don't know if y'all can hear them through my microphone, but they both mull again. Apparently, Earl had three greens. I mean, I'm, as a surfer player, you like to have two of his level up colors in the hand. That always might keep condition. You need at least one green, one red, one yellow, and a wow. A lot of these uh, fantastic characters um, have a huge reliance on superpowers. And they lost you. This is, I got this super low. Let me see if I can turn this down. That way I can maybe, oh yeah, I can control their value so y'all don't hear them. You know, I'm going to get the hang of this. This is going to come out all right. If if I get a few likes on this, you know, I might keep doing this, but I doubt it. I'm more of a numbers man. So like I said, I'm going to tell you, you got two, two fours here. I may, I can't, I may have to step in because they can't hear each other. I can hear you fine, Roland. I don't know why um Earl can't hear you. Can you hear me, Earl? Okay, good. Pop back out. Uh. I run on Spectrum. It seemed to do me pretty good. I work from home, so you know I get top tier, top tier, you know I'm up there. So, um, they're going to eventually play some verses at some point after some shuffling. He won't make sure his stuff he cut in and here we go. Like I said, Earl with surfer will be on the play. Okay. So here we go. Turn one coming up for Earl. Um, he going to go in his hand and he going to play a uh, red and he going to pass turn. Um, two for rolling. He got a wow. What are you gonna do here? He gonna flip it. You gonna get a quite get a couple XP for that. If you can hear that three XP. Yeah. I think he's gonna take a swing. Oh, that's the wrong side. <laughs> Rolling, keep talking that noise. This is not looking good for the. But we'll see how it plays out. Here we go. Two four base, five seven right now. So let's see what he's gonna put in a row. Do we got another location? He had to have a different location. Ooh, that's rough. I'm gonna tell you the surf play. That's rough. Well, let, let, let's see what happened here. Um, uh, like I said, Shabal can't even protect him. Okay, he gonna he gonna protect himself. That's a good play. Playing a Herbie two four. And okay, I mean, so he's not even thinking about that level three. If he's playing, now, I, I will roll the card before I play an Earth. Now unless he got multiple Earth in hand. Okay, that's a good thing. So um, 
Human Torch did not get another blue. Here come a Herbie. He won't be able to do damage. So hopefully, um, they're gonna buy Norman Rad some more time to see if he could become a surfer. Torx is going to Herbie. Herbie is down. Herbie Earl type. Okay. We'll see how this lottery going. No reaction from Earl yet, so we don't know what's happening. Um, he playing the Ooh, that's a roll. That is not what he wants he would suffer. But let's see if the um, support character could bail him out. And like I say, it's going to be hard to hit Surfer, especially with that Fantastic Four plot twist. Yeah, that's a smart play. Because he he, he got to find him. Oh, no. And go with team attack on take. <laughs> All right, so now going on three. Hope if human toast getting the blue, that's not gonna be good for Earl. Um, he still need five more XP. So uh, there go the blue. Um, let's see what happened here. Um, oh, they may have the same deck, but still, I don't think he's gonna be able to clear back to get to. Earl's wire, so Earl White will probably be in play going to the next one. They both wide. I think White gonna hang around for both sides. Ooh, with two power ups on the White. Oh, so we we not gonna let that Wyatt come through. Oh. Oh, we want to keep, we like wise apparently. Here come the flame on for three more XP. That's six counters if you, if you keep in track of it at home, folks. And then Herbie will go down this time. All right, two to the grip. And then Wyatt. To the right, he was placed him underneath him. Hopefully, we have to have a location here. Oh, that's not, oh no, that's a green. That's a green. Okay, my bad, my bad. That's the green. That way, you won't see. So he just what white going to do here? Do white have the yellow? Oh, that's not what you want to see. Um, he's still, but he only got one wound. So I mean. I have been in worse spots. Okay. So I mean, he he, he get what you want to see. Um. I mean, man, he need a power combo, but I don't know how he get to that human Taurus. Um, until well, until we get to like thing and stuff, but hopefully he leveled by then. Eight ten. Eight ten here, folks. Eight ten. Um. Yeah, they three and three character. His white definitely gonna hit. Here come the girlfriend. He is going back to the hand. I'll take the trade. That should be a trade. I'm not going to jump in that game, but that should have been a trade. I had to, like I said, since it's not my event, I cannot jump in, but Herbie should have hit back Ganymede. That will be a misplay. Um, If I was the judge here, that'd be a game warning, but what can I do? What can I do? So they both throwing with Wyatt. Okay, so the bulletproof six two, two health. Yeah, that 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 misplay is gonna hurt rolling just a little bit because I don't know if he. Okay, oh no, he could clear. Yeah, he should still be fine. 
So it wasn't, I guess it wasn't that bad of a misplay. Number two. I'm going to actually remove from play a thing in a Ganymede. I mean, I don't think they're doing any KO re um, recurs in, but if they was, you would want to remove them from play. That's a, man, he, he, he stays on them. He got three greens in the open hand. And now got two more. I mean, see, you got to live on the air with Surfer. I mean, um. Mm. Getting some blockers. Thonjo won't be able to hit. Oh. Mm. He he threatened in the king, but he, he gotta have a fantastic four. He gonna just give him four. He just gonna pump the defense. Um, that's his third. That was still a screen. I guess you got to get rid of him. So that's still a smart play from that perspective. Um, you would have loved to be on level three and then you know play a power cosmo behind that. He rolling for riot again. Um. Let's see what he put it down for himself. Couple rares showing. Um, I'm guessing that for Mr. Fantastic. If I if I'm a betting man, um, but that's another row going five resources piece. Ooh, yep. Earl is not in a good spot, but like I said, Surfer can turn this around. But and like Human Taurus, I mean, he flaming hot. But if you cool him off, he don't come back too well. He had to see that yellow here. He had to see that yellow. No reaction. Let's see if he got it. Woohoo! There it goes. So we know what time that get to. And he gonna play the girlfriend now. <laughs> Protecting Zen Law. Here we are. I call Protecting Shaw Law. But like I said, I'm a little more intimately involved with Surfer. We've been we've been through a few things, few tournaments, but it's in law. I was corrected apparently. So let's see what we do here. So it's that Surfer's the eight eight with safeguard back there. A clobbing shit. So that is that is Johnny first. Uh, uh, I've been I've been slacking on the wound count. I've been enjoying the game commentating. He got he got to take out. He can take out Ganymede. Go after Ganymede. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, that right, BK. Yeah. He was hoping the fire fire could cover and strike first, but Shala Ball, that's that's a real girl right there. He gonna bring everybody down to size. Okay, so I mean it looked like he put a little bit of water on that flame. Let's see if he could cool it off, but 
Suffolk, like I said, starting to get his legs, and we at the peak of this roller coaster, starting to come down here. Let's see where this ride takes us. Ooh, why finally pulled a, a, a location. All right, so four on four. I mean, we almost got enough for a basketball game here. That's number six. Mm, the plot twist out now come to end. I mean, I think the only one surfer will probably win the Power Cosmos. Um, so this basically build an arc, which is the fantastic for the Patreon tournament for um people who are not familiar with it. So you got the um two hundred car fantastic battles. You got the five full, and you got the hero. But he just flamed on the level up for the last time with the wow. So. We now have a nine 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 with one wound. So with Norm Rad superpower is wearing off, but he couldn't attack, so you know, give him time to stabilize. Let's let's see what he do with it. Mm. That way he's gotta save that earth, I mean. Let's see what Earl's next movie. Oh, he did Earl Carr. Mm. Mm. Okay. Oh. So, Suffer will wound himself for extra support. So that's a six six with the glare flight and rings. So he building up a board. Let's see how he takes it from here. Look like he. So they both doing a power up. I don't think Yami could come back from this one now unless he's willing to spend a plot twist on her. That gonna be super expensive, but he look like he yep. And he gonna flip it. I guess that if you really want that visible going here, you go. Okay, so he he didn't want to waste the rare. They probably got Mr. Fantastic. I still think that first one was. Uh, Okay, he keeping them down at the six six. Why it's starting to get big? He going gonna be going up to the fourth resource. So you know the Mr. Fantastic is coming up at some point that the only reason you run Earth. 
and he gonna definitely play it in another red. That way he was comfortable getting rid of that first one. I'm assuming I have to assume that. Um, there go Mr. Fantastic. Okay. Oh, Roland is taking a thinking moment. Earl is questioning the, the, the different location. Like, why are they not all the same type? I mean, they're still legal, but for Builder Arc. So he's thinking. Um, if I was if I was a betting man, um, because she think gonna take somebody out. Okay, there go plasticity. So plus five, plus five. Shrinking, I'm um, tough. He gonna range attack on Mr. Fantastic, but will hit. Hmm. Do you give her his thong draw so he could team attack? No way, no, he, oh no, okay, no. But he gonna have to give up somebody for she thing at eight six. Now unless he got pumps, he gonna have to give something up. So if you not, if I were early and I don't have a big character, I would give up my Mister Fantastic to force him to put him back into his hand. That's the fifth. So two more left for Surfer, three more left for Human Torch. Drawing two. All right, let's see what he got for eight here. I'm gonna say if it was me, okay, play a yellow. Um, I would try to get my Fantastic off the board so then I could um clear here. Hmm. Do, do we have more? And that's her second red self off the board. So most likely he gonna have to shoot with Sir for team attack, but then he could clear, but he only a five five on level two. So it looked like it could be. So the double power protected hit MC. Stroke of genius should have kicked off. So Stroke of genius should have came out first. So that is another nif play because he get to see the call before he pick his invention. Okay, so he already knew what he would gain anyway. I don't think his draw would have made a difference. This may be game here, folks. Okay, he all he gotta do is clear that Mr. Fantastic, put a wound on Surfer, and then finish the job. And he have a red to make him a 12-12. I think Riot was a different in this game. I think when he um, went after the main, he should have went at Wyatt with a team attack. But, but I think this is. And that, that's the wound on Surfer. Yeah, look like we about to get ready to have a um, end game commentating. 
There go to, I mean, it almost on scares though. Say you got the same team attack in the back row. Oh yeah, he got the, at least the master booth. <laughs> and that, and that will be game, yeah. folks. Took me too long to level. Too long. Here we to... are. Huh. That was a good game. Good game. Good game. Uh, I I was sweating a couple of times there. You know, couple couple misplays here and there, but you know, like like Kirby should have traded with Ganymede when she took him out. Wait, uh, my Herbie? Yes. Oh. oh. Bad. Yeah, a couple little things. It, it, nothing too big. Um, but in the end, I mean, um, he went towards got that one. I think getting the blue. I think, I think that why it was the huge difference in that game. Yes. Yeah. Being able to keep my Wyatt for five turns was it? Yeah, that's yeah. huge for me. And the cards he got out of it. But but I guess we'll start with the the person in defeat, Norn Rad Silver Surfer. Um, what do you have to say for yourself? I mean, to oh, all just... the Silver Surfer <laughs> fans out there in the world. Well, the Silver Surfer fan that is Dave. Uh, it, just, it just took me too long to level. Uh, I was I was behind for too long. So yeah, I too mean, um, so the, the only thing I had to question, like, I, I don't think I would put that Earth down. I would roll something else there, playing that Earth in the early yeah. turn. Yeah, yeah. I thought about that after I played it, and I'm like, man, I should have that in my hand. But I didn't have another location, so it's just habit. I haven't right. played Silver Surfer right. much to right. just play the location I understand. out. Well, that's what I kind of thought, but you know, just wanted to point that out. Um, and over to the um, the winner here. Um, this is a single elimination tournament, so this will be the last we hear from you in this event for this go, Earl. But um, over to Roland. Yes, sir. So, um, what were your game plan coming in when the MC flip? Take me through it. You know, I was hoping I'd see that trash MC Silver Surfer because I feel like Human Torch just gets too big too fast for him unless he gets a God Hand. And uh, even in my testing, like playing against different uh, main characters like Invisible Woman who hide, Johnny does, he gets too big and can protect Wyatt or Herbie or uh, Alicia Masters or any number of characters. So my goal was to keep him up front protecting the little guys while I built up my board and grabbed all the cards I needed. My end game, I was really happy not to see Galactus or a ramp to Galactus because I, I really had no answer for that. But my end game was to get to Mr. Fantastic out that negative zone and get any extra wounds I could on that Johnny hadn't been able to do in the early to mid game. Yeah, like I said, I think that Wyatt, like I said, because Wyatt, the one who got the Earth and his resource roll with was yes. huge. I don't that think was he would have saw the Earth without him, but yeah. Um, and then you got a lot of, he had a couple of the, um, the Fantastic Four plot twists, too. Yes, yeah. I w that's why I ultimately picked Johnny over the Mantle Human Torch, right. because being able to play that on anybody on any turn, as long as he was face up, is really good. And there are not many um, plot twists in this um, arc. Yeah. Um, when he played Red Shift, I was thinking to myself, joke's on you, I don't play any plot twists. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, well, this is the um, Team Buckeye Gathering. Um, probably the next time you hear from the three of us will be at the end of, of the um, Team Buckeye season. So um, if, you, if you're a part of that, thanks for being a part. If you're not, it's never too late to join. Always open is. Um, shout out to the Bill Faith for, you know, the tournament. Um, just giving us an event, something to do, especially for us judges who don't get to play in the Buckeye League. Um, we'll go ahead and shout out Team Apex. They have a Patreon thing. We all part of it as well. So join them. And like I said, they're both great Patreon groups, you know, but, you know, I can't spend your money. You got to spend it yourself. <laughs> but um, anything else? I mean, I know he probably won't talk about his little resource role thing he's been doing for weeks, but go ahead. Yeah, definitely check out the row. I'll probably feature uh, Johnny here and the build phase tournament and how that's been going so far. So, you you want to sell anything, Earl? You got any anything in the pipeline? No, I, I think I do have something in the uh, pipeline, but it's a secret. So there you go. 
Oh, come on. You can't leave us hanging. And then the, the, but if you didn't know, I'm also the person who run the Buckeye and Frank channel. A lot of content come from these fellows that you see here and, and other people from around the versus community. So check that out if you just want to see versus game. Um, but that's about it. We're going to wrap it up here. I'm going to stop this recording and you'll see this a couple hours from when we played it. Right. Good night, everyone.